Hi guys. So I wanted to do a kind of simple tutorial. A lot of people say that sewing scares them and it's one of my favorite parts of making junk journals. And so I wanted to just take you through a simple sewing um, of one of my envelope journals. Um, I have another kit Another tutorial up for a kit for the Vintage Purple Flowers kit, and you can check that out. There are three parts to it, but that also goes through the sewing of the pages, and that just uses a pamphlet stitch, which is really simple. Um, this is also relatively simple. It's just very basic. I don't know what the name of it is, um, or if it has a specific name, um, but it uses a few more holes. Um, so I have my journal. That I'm working on. It's a Da Vinci themed journal. Uses a lot of Victoria Designs printables. Um, very beautiful. And I have my pages all set up and um, you know sized appropriately for the journal. I have my spine reinforced in my envelope journal to give it a little more heft. And we're ready to sew. So I'm just going to go over the sewing section of making this kind of journal. So once I have my pages, actually the first thing I'm gonna do is I have them all um, clipped together with these really gorgeous, fun vintage, vintage clips. I think uh, Sky Bambi on Instagram had these in her um, studio. Or maybe it was Cozy Corner Crafts. I don't remember for sure. Um, so I'm just gonna measure, and I'm not too, I'm not too um, precise about this. I'm not very precious. My pages are a little fucked there. I want them straight. Um, <clears throat> you know, the fun of this is is in doing it, right? I don't want to get too precious about anything. So I usually just kind of look at oh, the length we have here. And I want to do about five or six holes probably for this. So it's probably about every inch or so. Um, so I'm going to start at about We're not quite at seven here, so give it about six and a quarter for our first one. And then I'm just gonna come down and mark along my spine every inch. That'll be a little longer on the bottom. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this and link it up to my book where I want it. You might wanna check, it's right side up. I'm gonna sew them in upside down. Clip that to my journal. I'm gonna take my awl, and I've had this for ages and ages, just a little poker guy, and I'm gonna poke all my holes right through that spine, and wiggle it around a little to give them enough room for my needle. I kind of made my markings a little off the spine here. I'm gonna go back and clean those up a little. Make sure you can see what's happening here. Just going right through those holes. Clean up my markings. 
probably go in here and do this. Okay, and then I'm taking my needle, which is a bookbinder's needle. It has a nice, big eye. I do not like fussing with tiny little eyes and trying to thread them. And my thread is bookbinding thread as well. It's already waxed. Um, if you prefer, you can just get regular thread and run it through beeswax. That helps it move through the holes and gives it some sturdiness. It makes it last longer. I'm doing three times the height of my book just to make sure I have plenty of thread. Sending it through. This is like the least unscientific, super simple sew it up method. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna start on the inside at the bottom and go to the outside. Give myself a little tail. Good inch or more. Come up through the next hole. And this part can be a little tricky. If you want, you can go with the all back the other direction that can help my hole is a little not cooperating with me this is why you hate sewing isn't it <laughs> I swear this goes so smoothly when I'm not doing it on video as soon as I try to film it There it goes. All right, coming through. Made my hole a little bigger. That's okay. Back down through the next hole. Trying to find the actual hole we made with the all, but it's not working. I guess this is teaching me to be, you know, one of my goals is to be less of a perfectionist and just do stuff and get it done. Um, and I'm definitely <laughs> have to learn, I'm gonna learn that. really does not want to cooperate with me. I'm going to go back in with my awl again. Try to find my hole. There it is. That'll do it. So I want to make sure I don't get tangled up in the, um, the closure here, which is already on here. I'm coming up through here. Sorry about that. Gotcha. I'm gonna come back down through here. Really, the down holes should be fine because that's the direction that I punched the awl. There we go, and then let's just get ahead of this one and punch it through in this direction. And you can go ahead and do that before you sew too, if you wanna make sure you have those holes really ready for you to come through. And then we're just gonna go back down the way we came and fill those. I'm gonna make sure I'm tight on this, actually. And then go back down the way we came. Pull that guy too. Doesn't that look nice? Come back through in here. There we 
go. Got him. Back down through this way. Oops, I just did the thing. It's difficult with this because I use a twine and I don't want to I don't want to go through it either, especially. Pull this guy a little tighter. There you go. Definitely a little harder to sew and make sure you guys can see what I'm doing here. And now this is the part where I'm especially unscientific because I don't know what the official way is to to close this. I'm sure there's some really special way that you're supposed to do it, but I just I don't think I wanted to do that. I think ultimately what I did and have been doing is going back up through here, which makes a second stitch here, which probably isn't how you're supposed to do it, but I think it looks fine and beautiful. It makes me happy. I'm just taking my needle off. And tying up. Some people like to leave these long or dangles down at the bottom. I want to just tie it off. I did end up leaving that a little bit shorter than I would prefer normally because it's making it a little hard to get my knot in place here, but I'm just going to trim this guy. Trim them both, actually. Nice and close. Make sure my knot is holding. I might put a little dab of glue on there to hold that guy. a little short and there you go pages sewn into your envelope journal that wasn't so bad was it thanks for watching